Less than four hours of direct sunlight per day is considered a gloomy garden. Yes, there are a lot of leafy plants that do well in partial shade, but there are also plenty of colorful perennial flowers that do well in shaded spots. In hot climes, partial shade is a welcome relief for several of these plants, even if they can take full sun. If you're looking for some perennial flowering plants that can withstand light shade, consider these 15 options. Number 1. Monkshood. Although it can tolerate light shade, the perennial flower known as monkshood thrives in full sun. The plant gets its name from the form of its deep purple-blue flowers, which may be seen atop five to six-foot stalks and remain in bloom for as long as two months in late summer. If you're looking for some late-season color when most plants have finished blooming, this is a great choice. Although monkshood is disease and pest resistant, it may need to be staked in shaded areas to keep it from topple over. Number two, columbine. Columbine flowers are irresistible to hummingbirds and butterflies due to the abundance of nectar they contain. There are a lot of native species to choose from. However, the ones sold in stores are mostly Aquilegia vulgaris cultivars. There is a vast array of color combinations available for the bell-shaped blooms. This plant typically expands itself by self-seeding and is quite easy to grow in partial shade. Typically blooming in the late spring or early summer, columbine grows to a height of approximately two feet. Number three, astilbe. Astilbe or false sparia is a spring and summer flowering plant that produces plumes of flowers that can be any shade of red, white, pink, or purple. Some types reach a height of six inches, while others might reach five feet. While they do well in partial shade, these plants can handle either full sun or complete shade. Please ensure that the soil is moist since they are heavy eaters and thrive in damp environments. Number four, black cohosh. The perennial flower known as black cohosh or bugbane thrives in partial shade. It brings height and texture to a shade garden and can grow to be six feet tall in only one season. White clusters of bottle brush shaped blooms emerge from the thick foliage on even taller stalks in the late summer and early fall. Make cautious to place this plant in a sheltered area since strong winds can harm it. Number five, barrenwort. The slow-growing ground cover known as barrenwort is underappreciated for the visual appeal it adds to landscapes. Early in the spring, it bears clusters of bright blooms, and when the weather warms up, its leaves change from a variety of reds and golds to a rich green. Even though it can handle complete shade, this plant is most productive when grown in partial shade. Number six, primrose. As their scientific name suggests, primroses are among the earliest spring flowers to open their blossoms. A little sunshine in the spring will do these plants no harm. After the weather warms up though, they'll need some shade. There are a plethora of options, and many of them are planted as annuals due to how fast they are ruined by hot temperatures. Number seven, meadow rue. A cluster of lacy, blue-green foliage grows at the base of each meadow rue plant. The fluffy blossoms will then emerge from the foliage in the warmer months of spring and summer. While this plant can handle direct sunlight, it really thrives in a partially shaded area. Even though it doesn't appreciate having its roots pulled up, this perennial requires nothing in the way of upkeep. Number eight, lungwort. Sometimes called Bethlehem sage is a popular plant for its flowers and leaves. It has pink blossoms that turn blue as they age and open in the spring. 
Foliage needs partial shade since full light can burn or wilt it. Does best in soil that is evenly moist but not waterlogged. Number 9. Siberian Bugloss Perennial, clump forming, and shade loving. Siberian Bugloss is a relative of forget me nots and can reach a height of 18 inches. It has lovely dark green heart shaped leaves that are eye catching all year round, and it blooms with blue flowers in April and May. When planted in large quantities, this flower thrives. Number 10. Solomon Seal. Slowly spreading and briefly blooming in early to mid spring, these plants can reach a height of 6 feet. The graceful foliage lingers, enhancing a garden's summer appeal. After the flowers, little mammals and birds are enticed by the rich blueberries. Both humans and animals can be somewhat poisoned by Solomon Seal. Number 11. Hosta. Although the show-stopping clusters of ornamental foliage take center stage, the flower spikes that emerge in the middle of summer are every bit as striking. Hostas are indispensable in shaded spots where other plants die out, and they fill up spaces and cover up gaps just as effectively. Hostas are poisonous to canines and felines. Number 12. Lily of the Valley. From the end of March into the beginning of April, you can see broad, lily-like leaves, and in May you can see very fragrant stems of small, nodding flowers. Summer heat might make foliage look ragged, but it still has its place in the garden all the way into fall. Water this shade-loving plant regularly and divide it if it starts to spread too much. Everyone and everything can get sick from lily of the valley. Number 13. Goat's Beard. Going for goat's beard is a great way to make your shade garden taller. As it matures, it will be two to four feet broad and six feet tall, giving it a shrub-like appearance. Creamy white blooms emerge in spikes atop the foliage in the late spring and early summer. A little filtered sun in the morning or afternoon can bring out the greatest blooms in goat's beard, however it will adapt to any soil type. Number 14. Wild Geranium. You can discover a wild geranium, also known as a crane's bill, to suit your garden's needs because there are so many different kinds. Find a native variety that suits your climate in terms of color, light, soil, and hardiness zone. Reliable and spreading in spherical clusters. This plant produces attractive blossoms from late spring into summer, making it an ideal choice for shade gardens. Number 15. Wood Poppy. The Wood Poppy, with its brilliant yellow blossoms, is one of the first spring flowers to provide a burst of brightness. In early February, coarse, deeply lobed leaves emerges and soon after, in midsummer, four petal blooms follow, and sometimes they re-bloom in the fall. In filtered sunshine, wood poppies thrive. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.